Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this video, we will discuss something about Oracle 12C user management. As we know, Oracle 12C is a multi-tenant architecture and because of that only, the user management of the Oracle 12C is quite different as compared to the Oracle database version till 11G. So how it is different that is going that that is the same thing we are going to see in this video. So let us see these things on the whiteboard itself. As we know Oracle 12C is a multi-tenant architecture. So we can have a container database which is a CDB and inside the container database we can have a multiple pluggable databases. So I am assuming that these are the pluggable databases. So this is PDB1, this is PDB2 and this is PDB3. Okay. Now what is happening here on this pluggable database we can have our own applications applications 1 and here we can have the application 2 and at last we can have application 3 application 3 for each application we need some user who will do the administration of that particular databases or application itself so we can have a user available here itself here also some users which are available inside the pluggable database tree and obviously we need some user which are created automatically but again we can also create manually inside the container databases here also we can have some users u1 u2 which are related to the container database so if you see this structure you will find there are two kind of user in the oracle 12c now what are all those users the first one is your common user common user and we can have a local user in the oracle 12c we have a two kind of user the first one is your common user and second one is your local user now what is meant by common user and what is meant by local user if you go for oracle database administration uh, in interview you will find this kind of question on the most of the interview because oracle will say which is a trending and nowadays most of the organizations are mainly asking for the people who need who have the knowledge about oracle 12c so you will find this question that what is meant by common user and the local user in the oracle 12c so let us target about the common user first what will happen i will just write down here in common user if you create the user it will be created inside the container database as well as in pluggable database this will happen in common user now how to create the common user so first thing is you need to connect to the container database okay and then fire the command as create user username identified by password but here there is one trick in the common user what will happen we need to create the user with the prefix c hash hash this is what it makes a different you can understand yeah this is a common user if you found any user with the prefix as c hasher you need to understand that this is the user which is comes under the common user you will find that user inside the container database as well as in pluggable database now what is meant by local user local user means the user which are mainly talking about pluggable database here as i said each pluggable database can have their own users we call it as a local user local user now how to create this local user first thing is you need to connect to the pluggable database so connect to the pluggable database and then fire the command as create user username identified by password this is what we have done till hello oracle 11 g but the thing is you need to connect to the pluggable database first so if i'm just connecting to the pdb1 and firing the command as create user username identified by password it will 
the user will be created inside the PDB here. So here the thing is the user which are available inside the PDB1 you will not find that user in PDB2 or PDB3. If you want to create the user inside the PDB2 for this application you need to connect to the PDB2 and then fire the command as create user username identified by password here you don't need to mention c hash hash no need to mention c hash hash because the c hash hash prefix is only for the common user as i said earlier if you create the user as a common user it will be available in container database as well as in pluggable database so if you connect to the pdb1 and try to form, uh, fire the command as uh, select username from db underscore user you will find this c hash hash user as well here here also you will find here also you will find and here also but when i'm talking about local user you will find only the user which are related to the pdb1 which are related to the pdb2 and which are related to the pdb3 so if you want the user only for pdb2 you need to connect to the pdb2 database and you will find all the user which are available inside the pdb2 not in pdb3 or not in pdb1 so this is the understanding of oracle 12c user management i hope this is pretty much clear and if you are going with the interview and if someone is asking about oracle to us user management i guess this is pretty much good and uh, you have understood the concept thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel you will find more videos based upon the oracle to us hadoop sql and cloud technology in future already we have posted uh, around 120 plus videos based upon this technology only and again in future i am trying to upload more and more videos on the different training technology so please do like subscribe and share this channel who is mainly looking for a job into the different technology into the oracle database and if you are looking for training please come back to me thank you thank you for the day bye bye